I love the fast food. I do wish it was there when they decided on the size of those ketchup packets. I'm not saying I need a gallon, but maybe enough for more than one fry. I always end up opening 20, I look like a heroin addict. I'm gonna party once I get set up here. Has anyone ever used just one ketchup packet? Do you have a half of a quarter of an ounce of ketchup? It's just so darn rich. I need a resealable packet. One that I could store in my purse. They always give you three packets. When you go back up and ask for more, the guy handing them out always treats you like you're taking from his personal stash. <laughs> oh, looks like my kids aren't having ketchup tonight. <laughs> Enjoy, ketchup glutton. <laughs> Sometimes printed on the ketchup packet, it'll say, not for resale. I didn't know that was an issue. I've been to a lot of flea markets, no ketchup packets. And you know what, if you're in a position where you have to sell ketchup packets, I don't think that's gonna hold you back. We need money, maybe we should sell these ketchup packets. Oh, we can't, it says not for resale. <laughs> Dang it. If you're lucky, you'll get a ketchup packet that's labeled as fancy ketchup. <laughs> ketchup, you're being modest. You're way more than fancy, you're elegant. <laughs> I know it's all relative, but what kind of life are you leading where you consider ketchup fancy? Well, we ain't rich folk, but on special occasions, I'll break out the ketchup. <laughs> Grandma's birthday, make her feel like a celebrity. <laughs> ketchup. Some fast food places, they have that ketchup pump. It's like a keg. I give you the paper shot glass. I always like to hang around there, try and meet the ladies. Here, I'll pump for you. You come to this Wendy's often? My roommate and I, we got a pony pump back at my door. Here's an extra shot for your cute friend. How many shots of ketchup do you get? I usually get like three, but if I've had a bad day, I'll get five. My wife thinks I'm trash because I use a lot of ketchup on my sushi. <laughs> I find it gets rid of the fish flavor. <laughs> How about those people that don't use ketchup? What are they called again? Al-Qaeda? Ugh. <laughs> ketchup. <laughs> the upside down bottle of ketchup, have you seen that? Don't you think it's a little embarrassing how long it took us to come up with the upside down bottle? <laughs> it was only like six months ago. Some guy was like, you know, we only use it like this. <laughs> Why don't we just put the cap on the bottom? <laughs> Have people been complaining ketchup is hard to get out of the bottle? <laughs> For like a hundred years. <laughs> I'll talk to our gravity experts. <laughs> ketchup is hard to get out of a bottle. You know, I was like, <laughs> you guys go on without me. <laughs> Maybe, uh, just leave me water. You ever been given one of those tiny ketchup bottles? They're like 90% glass. <laughs> this is adorable, but I want ketchup, not a Christmas ornament. <laughs> I'll put this with my other glass menagerie. <laughs> ketchup. I, I never thought I'd miss a bacon joke. <laughs> Salsa is like the Mexican ketchup. Marinara is the Italian ketchup, and British food is terrible. <laughs> Actually, vinegar, vinegar is the British ketchup. How bad is your food when adding vinegar improves it? You know what I use vinegar for? Cleaning windows. <laughs> the British are our only allies. Why would he be so reckless? with his edgy ketchup jokes. What if Gordon Brown was sitting in the audience right now and he was about to sign the NATO treaty? Hi, thanks for watching. Hit subscribe if you want. If you want to see more stand-up, I have more stand-up, or if you want to see an original show like Let's Get Cooking or The Mike and Pat Show, that's available on my channel. But also, just know that I'll be posting a new video every day during this pandemic or until the world ends. Please hit subscribe and turn on your alert or notification button.